Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm like a robot. Let's try this again. Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hello, I'm Courtney. If you are not new, welcome back. So as you can tell by the title, today's video is so exciting. We have a fall fashion haul. Yes, a fall fashion haul. Fall is probably, not probably, is my favorite season for fashion. I love it. There's just so many good things. There is the boots, the coats, the sweaters, the layering. Just everything about fall fashion is just mm, so good. And I am super excited to show you guys what I bought. A lot of it is kind of just refreshing some basics in my closet, some to update some of my uh, fall things. So, but I'm excited. I'm excited for chillier weather. Like it's here, like it is here. Like it is, I'm gonna look at the temperature so I can get an accurate read on what the weather is. It is. 57 degrees in Cleveland right now. So fall's here. She has arrived. And I have a feeling she she's not going anywhere. It's October, so she here. Fall is here. The weather's here. We can bust out the boots. We can bust out the coats. The, get it ready for the scarves. I'm excited. So without me prolonging this video any longer than it needs to be, let's get right into it. Okay, so the first I'm just gonna do it by store. So the first place that I went to is Zara. And you know, Zara can be hit or miss. Sometimes they come with the hits and sometimes they don't. So I found some good, some goodies in there. Um, so let's talk about it. So the first thing I picked up, I fell into the shoulder pad trend. I know. Either you love it or you're over it. It's like one or the other. Because when I first saw it, I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. And then I saw it everywhere. And I was like, all right, y'all really know how to run something into the ground. But for whatever reason, <laughs> it coming back again for fall and new fabrications and a little bit new silhouettes, it kind of gave, like breathed a new life into it for me, if you will. Um, so... The first piece I got from Zara is a shoulder pad shirt. It is this shirt here, and it is in this really pretty, like, tan, almost camel color. It is a tank top, um, and it is like a long, like, not long, but like a normal sized shirt. Um, and it's very boxy, it's very square. But, you know. Obviously, that's all that's in Zara right now is the shoulder pad trend in several different fabrications and cuts and styles. And the thing I like the most about this is the material. It's very cozy. It's, I don't know how to describe it, but it's almost like fuzzy. Like it's kind of like that warm, like flannel material almost. And that's what kind of drew me in because the ones that we've been seeing all summer long were just like cotton t shirts. Um, so in this fabrication, I was like, oh, this will be like warm and cozy and it'll definitely give me fall vibes. But after trying it on, I'll be honest, like it fit fine. Um, it, it fit okay, you know, but I'm at a place in my life where if I don't love something and I don't feel like I'm going to get the wear out of it, I'm not keeping it. Like I'm, I'm not keeping it. And specifically because this is a tank top, I don't see myself, like not this version, I don't see myself layering this, um, like putting on a long sleeve underneath of this shirt particular, per, whoa, particularly. I don't see myself layering this. Um, there's other versions of it that I would, but mainly like this shirt, I'd wanna like layer it with like something over top, but then that kind of takes away from the specialness of the top, you know what I mean? Like. The features and the coolness of the top is the shoulders. So if I'm wearing something over top, that kind of defeats the purpose. So I'm probably going to return this. I just, I like it. I don't love it. 
I think the fit was cool. Like, you know, it was one of those like, okay, yeah, I can wear this. But I, I didn't love it. So I, I want to love everything in my closet. I want to wear things lots of times. And that's just not something I can see myself wearing a lot of times. So the next thing I picked up from Zara is this tan oversized button up shirt. So the camera is not doing it justice at all, but it is this really light tan oversized um, button up shirt with like these exaggerated cuffs. And I was a little disappointed in the shirt, I will be honest. When I saw it in the store, I was like, oh yes, love her, gonna wear this all the time with jeans. I'm gonna layer under some sweaters. Like this is kind of what I envisioned. Like I could layer this under here, but like, I just didn't like the way it looked, that particular color and shirt over top of this. There was another sweater I'll show you later that I thought I was gonna layer on top of this, but I just, mm, mm no. So, I don't know, I just, I loved it on the hanger, but on me, nah. I feel like if you're an extra small and a small and you bought the large, it'd be cute, like it'd be, it'd be cool on you, but on me, no sis it just didn't do what i wanted it to do and then on top of that it has these weird like keyhole things in it so i didn't understand it i, I didn't get it so I, yeah this is going back because i just again i didn't even like it <laughs> it's not even a like it or love it situation it's like i didn't even like it so it's just gotta go she gotta go back um and the last thing i picked up from zara was now this piece this is the love it this piece i loved i bought this cream like high neck shoulder pad sweater vest when i tried this on i just felt so chic like so chic and I wanna get like the perfect like tan, like camel colored pants and do like a full on tonal look. But when I put this on, I was like, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Like I, I, like, I don't wanna like rub makeup on it, but it just, I guess you could consider this a turtleneck too. Like on here, it doesn't seem like the neck would be so high, but when I tried it on, like it came, it was up here. Like it was up pretty high. But I loved it. The fit was amazing. It just looks like good quality. Um, I just, I love the cream color. I do believe it also comes in a like burnt orange kind of color. But the only drawback of this is when you have it on, the shape, I don't know if you can tell here, but the shoulders, you can kind of see the outline of the shoulder pads. And I don't necessarily love that. Like, obviously, when you wear it, you know there's shoulder pads in here, but I don't want to see the outline of it, you know? But, hmm, it's one of those things where, like, it doesn't really matter. No. So I'm going to keep it because <laughs> I loved it that much. I just, this is a piece. This is, she cute. We like her. That She's a looker. <laughs> okay, so that is everything I got from Zara. I probably should have started with this, but let's talk about this black shirt I have on. So this shirt is actually Topshop that I have on, and it is a oversized like button-up shirt. I would stand up, but you still wouldn't be able to really truly see it. But it's an oversized button-up shirt with a high-low effect, and I love this. I love it so much, so I'm going back to get the white one. I got this from Nordstrom. And I love the exaggerated cuff on it. Like, um, I just love the voluminous sleeve. Like, it just fits so well. And I've already worn this twice. And the first time I wore it, I got so many compliments on it. Um, everyone was like, oh my gosh, where'd you get this shirt? It's so cool. Like, it just, it's just such a good piece. And I can see myself wearing this multiple times that, like, I want the white one. Like, it's gonna be a great fall staple, like, I can layer this with so many things and it's just one of those things that will elevate a pair of denim 
which most button-up shirts do, but because it's so dramatic and oversized, it just takes it to that next level. Um, and you could also wear it with like leather leggings or, you know, um, I kind of want to try it with like a satin skirt and see what that would look like, but I just feel like it's one of those pieces that's a basic, but it's like an elevated basic, you know? So I love this shirt. The only thing I don't 100% love about it, I like how tight the cuff is, but this band down here, it's almost too tight. So like right now, the shirt is so long that I'm sitting on the back of it. So if I was like, perfect example, I did go out to dinner with my friends and because the tail is so long, he sit on the tail and if I like am reaching for my drink, my arms get like stuck. <laughs> I look crazy, but they get, like it gets stuck. So I can't like, fully extend my arms when I'm sitting down so it's a little cumbersome but other than that I just I love the way it looks it like really makes my wrist look real dainty and skinny and I, I love that love that for me so yeah I like this a lot and you will be seeing a lot of me in this so let's move on to H&M so I don't know if anyone else has noticed or is noticing like H&M has been putting out the hits lately like all summer long they've been coming with the cute little dresses summer dresses and now they're putting out the bangers like H&M is pretty good about fall like every year they they've consistently done fall well but this year I don't know what it is but like they're they're Sorry, my phone was ringing. They're not only doing fall well, they're killing the game. Like, as far as fast fashion goes, like, they're killing the game. Like, come on, let's be real. Like, if anyone has been on the, the, they, the, the H&M website, the app, whatever, into a store, more than likely, you've recognized, like, oh. Okay, H&M. I see you so they've been coming with the hits. So let's just start with my first piece. So this is a sweatshirt that I ordered. And again, with the shoulder details, um, it's just like this charcoal gray sweatshirt and it has this like cuff shoulder detail, very Isabel Marant. And you know, it's pretty like fitted. It's not oversized really. It's like a true to size kind of fit but I just love the shoulder detail. That's what really makes it. It's a crew neck, you know, there's nothing really special about the bottom. It's not high-low or anything. It's like a typical sweatshirt, but it's the shoulder detail. <laughs> it's the shoulders for me, girl. <laughs> but yeah, it's the shoulder detail. Very Isabel Marat, like, and that's why I bought it. Cause I was like, oh, I can get my Isabel Marat vibes for like, not a thousand dollars. So, and you know, I think that's what it is. Like, I don't know who is the designer for H&M and who's um, planning all these things, but they, they're, let's just say, they're really inspired by Isabel Marat. And because she's one of my favorite designers, I think that's why I love H&M right now. So, hmm, I just had a breakthrough. But anyways, yeah, so it's just like a great basic. Like, throw this on, throw a couple necklaces on to layer with it jeans you can put it with skirts you can layer it over a dress um, it's just like a cool like casual everyday piece and it just like i don't know makes your everyday sweatshirt feel a little bit more special so yeah i'm loving that the next thing i got from h&m this is just kind of like a like an everyday basic that I chose to kind of replace the sweater I was wearing when I bought this. So I have this gray H&M crew neck sweater, love it. It's a little bit oversized, just a little. And um, it's been a great sweater. When I tell you I've had that thing for like five years, I've had it for five years and it's held up pretty well, but you know, it's kind of like getting pilly and it's just time for it to go. And I mean, the fact that I, I probably paid like 17 or $20 for it at the time, and it's held up as well, it's like, hmm. So here's hoping the sweater will do the same. But this is just a, like, 
a pistachio <laughs> like mint colored sweater hopefully it probably is coming up more gray on camera but it does have like a light green pistachio kind of color to it and I just wanted it to replace the other sweater I had that was a dark gray and one I kind of want to introduce a little bit of pastels into um, my wardrobe not a lot but just enough and yeah I feel like this is just a crew neck sweater it's slightly oversized um, the sleeves are pretty you know basic but it was just super cute um, and it's just the everyday like I just want something simple that like when I'm not really feeling it that day I can throw on a sweater and still look put together and I think this will achieve that for me so I love it I'm excited to wear this and uh, hopefully it will stand the test of time like my other H&M sweater <laughs> all right okay sorry my battery died on my camera so I had to switch out the battery one of the best investments I ever made was buying a backup battery so and I might just buy one more <laughs> you know you just never know so anyways okay um yeah so the next piece that I picked up from H&M was this oversized vest now this was inspired by a Pinterest look that I've seen where this girl had this giant oversized vest um, and she wore it as a dress and she wore it with like a button up or a collared shirt underneath I believe but this vest I was very interested in repeating that look is why I got it but it's just like this knit um, cable not cable knit just knit vest um, crew neck and it's in this light 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 gray color almost no it's more gray than cream see it's kind of cream but no it's more gray than cream um and it has like these side slits here at the bottom but i just love this i was truly interested in re um recreating that look that i saw so i love it i just think it's going to be such a cool piece for fall such a good layering piece i'm also into like people that wear vests with just like a t-shirt underneath I think that's kind of a cool look so I might experiment with that but hopefully I haven't tried this on yet um, because I actually went back to return something to H&M and then I picked this up so I haven't tried this on because I've already tried it on everything else but yeah hopefully it fits well but um, <laughs> I'm so into this I love it I'm excited about it hopefully I can recreate that outfit um, and make it look cute for me so I don't know I'm just happy to have it and I was actually kind of excited that I saw it in store because it was sold out online so that's another reason why I was like snatch it up now girl because there was actually only two left in the store so I'm telling you like H&M is coming with the hits like if you can get that designer look for I was gonna say half the price but not even half like like a fifth of the price um, why not you know so I'm excited about this yeah anywho so the last piece the piece de resistance is I'm so excited about this piece guys so like I said H&M whoever's designing for H&M they've been taking a page out of Isabel Morant's book and I'm okay with it because I couldn't get my hands on this piece last year from Isabel Morant and I don't think anyone is reselling it because it was the, just that awesome of a piece that it could be in your closet for years and years and years so you know kudos to H&M for making this similar piece yes it hurts my heart a little bit to own this and not buy the design from the designer but you know such is life nothing is fair and it's okay so I bought this shirt jacket or the shacket from H&M <laughs> it's so beautiful I know me holding it up doesn't do it justice but it's fine oh it's just so look at the colors like 
okay like oh and his pockets it's like this super long exaggerated coat or it's not really a coat because i i don't know it's a shirt jacket that's how it's described on the website and it has these like front pockets like oh i love her i love her so much so i don't know if you remember that blue isabel morant coat from last year that when i saw it i about hit the floor and i could not get my hands on it because it sold out everywhere and yeah i'm still a little salty about it so thank you fast fashion and h&m for still making my dreams come true yeah i love her and i would say i can't wait to wear her but it's 50 degrees outside so i can for sure wear her today if i would like but i'm not going anywhere so there's that so yeah all right guys so that is everything that i picked up in this fall fashion haul you know i think i found some good gems some good staples some things i'm gonna love for years to come not just things that are trendy at the moment i hope so <laughs> if you've made it this far oh thanks that's so sweet i appreciate you guys and if you wouldn't mind just just go ahead and subscribe you know just do that to your button. Um, but that is it. That is everything that I got for you guys. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs> you know, minus this little pimple, I did a good job on my makeup. Color me impressed. I did a really good job on this beat. At least I think so.